In this short video, I want to show you how easy it is to select the optimal setting for the Quantum Renko Optimizer Indicator on NinjaTrader 8. Now, as you can see here, we've got four charts running. On the left-hand side, we've got the spot market for the Aussie dollar. Alongside that, on the right-hand side, we've got the gold contract, the GC, so we're running a futures contract there. Down at the bottom left, we've got an index. This is the YM, which is the uh, E-mini futures contract for the Dow 30 cash market. And finally, at the bottom right, we've got a currency future. We've got the 6B contract, which is another futures contract. This time for the British pound. So we've got some very different markets here. And as you can see, we've got the Renko optimizer running on all four. So let's just see how easy it is to change this to an optimal setting. At the moment, we're running at, as you can see here on the Aussie dollar, we're running a 15 Renko. And what that means is that this is running at a 1.5 pip brick size for this particular market. Now, if we change that to, let's select another time frame. Let's select three minutes, for example. What you'll notice here is down on the bottom left, the optimizer indicator tells us that we need now to click to open. And what we're going to open is a 2.6 brick size Renko chart. And there we go, that's just opened up. And there we have, we are now running uh, the optimal setting for that particular time frame. And we're running at 26 Renko. In other words, because we're on a, a PIP chart here, we are running at brick sizes of 2.6 pips for the Aussie dollar in that chosen time frame. Now, if we move across to the right hand side here, exactly the same principles here, we're on gold. And let's, let's just change this to another time frame. Let's just change this to two minutes this time. There we go, it's exactly the same principles. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that uh, for the gold chart, what this is telling us is click here to open a five brick Renko chart. And that opens up straight away. Now, because we're trading gold and gold is traded in dollars per ounce, it's currently trading at 1226 spot 80. What the five Renko uh, designates here is that we are trading five cents worth of brick size. So because we're on a, a dollar and cents uh, contract, then automatically this calculates, the Renko calculates and delivers the appropriate brick size for that particular uh, market. So here we're trading on five cents per brick. If we scroll down to the chart here, here we're on an index future. So if we do the same thing here, let's just change this to, um, let's go to three minutes here on the YM. Uh, market's not open yet for the US, so we're not uh, running at full speed, but nevertheless. And at the bottom here, you can see it says click here to open an eight brick Renko. We do that and there is our, our eight brick Renko immediately presented for us. And of course, because we're running on an index here, which is quoted in points, then the eight here represents eight index points. So each of these bricks is opened and closed according to eight index points for that particular contract. And finally, over to the futures contract. And we'll just click on this. We'll change this to three minutes. I'm sure you're getting the general idea now for all these markets. It's very, very simple. That's just calculating the appropriate brick size for the 6B futures contract. And there we go, that's come up with four. So we just click on that. And that's come up with our four brick size. And of course, because we are on a currency market that is being quoted in pips. So we're back to four pips for the 6B futures contract. 
So it's very, very easy. You select the time frame and the indicator then delivers the optimal setting that for that particular time frame that you've chosen for that particular market at that particular time. Now, the other thing, of course, which is uh, very easy to do, and I'll just uh, pop this up full size to make it easier. We can add any indicators we choose. So if we pop down to the indicators, very simple, very straightforward. Let's add some of the quantum ones, but you can add any indicators you choose, whether you want the uh, uh, quantum indicators or indeed any of the free indicators that come with NinjaTrader. The indicators we like to use with Renko are particularly the quantum trend, trend monitor. So we'll just add that on. Quantum trends works beautifully with this too. Uh, let's add the pivots, which we like to use also. And finally, let's add the accumulation distribution, which will give us some price based support and resistance levels. Now, what I also like to do is change the color a little bit here. I prefer Dodger Blue for the, uh, uh, su the support line color for the um, support. And I prefer red for that one for the resistance. And I also like to have them a dash line there. There we go. And I'm just going to reduce the cluster factor here. If you've got the uh, accumulation distribution indicator, you'll know that you can uh, increase and reduce the number of levels that you see on any chart. I'm just going to change this to 50 so that it reduces a little bit. There we go. Just apply that lot. That's it. There we are. So down at the bottom here, we have our trend monitor. Here we've got our pivots working nicely. We've also got our trend dots. You can see here helping to keep us in through this through this level. Currently running into a little bit of a sideways congestion here at the moment, but we seem to be continuing in bullish momentum, particularly with the trend monitor helping to keep us in. And if you want to increase the number of levels on the Renko in terms of the accumulation distribution indicator, all you need to do is just go back here. We can take this down to zero, which is the default uh, cluster setting and apply it and you get a few more levels building there as well. So that's the Renko Optimizer Indicator for NinjaTrader 8. It's a fabulous indicator. It makes the whole process very, very quick and easy for you. And of course, the ultimate benefit of using this particular indicator is that you are then trading at the optimal setting for that particular chart in that particular time frame. So all the guesswork is removed and you're trading at an optimal setting. In other words, you're trading in harmony with that particular instrument and that market at that particular time during the trading session. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this particular video. Lots more to come as always. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.